I'm what? Oh, yeah, it's recording now. Yeah. Like, are we both in shot? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I was going to swing oh, first. That was hey, <laughs> Alright, you both in the shot. Are, both are in the we? Shot. Yep. Yeah. I got these little sparkle things on my pants. Sparkle? Sweet. I like it. Alright. And welcome to my. <laughs> I can't believe I fell. <laughs> welcome to the My Little Beasley Show, episode number 68. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, my guest this week. Uh, is the NWA Women's World Heavyweight Champion and the Shine Heavyweight? It, well, it's not really heavyweight, you don't have is to it? Say heavyweight. No, it's well, it's one weight, right? NWA World Women's Champion. Yeah, yeah, NWA World Women's Champion okay. and Shine's uh, Women's Champion Santana Garrett. Hello. Uh, thank you for uh, for finally being able to come on the show. We've been trying to make it work and just like just keep passing each other like ships in the wind. Well, I'm here now. All that yeah, and we're hanging out on a swing, swing set. set. Yeah, yeah, you know, because you're like, I'm only going to do the episode if we can hang out on the swing it's set. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to make this happen. And uh, so actually, last night you're coming off a, a huge victory. It's true. Over Evie, uh, you know, like were you you a bit concerned? I mean, Evie has a, a, a great reputation as an as a uh, as a wrestler. As an international superstar, right. and were you a, a bit concerned she she might have taken that you know, title last night? I was excited more than anything. Um, this is probably my favorite time of year for Shine, just because the international girls are here, and so I feel like we truly have some of the best women's wrestlers in the entire world. Right, definitely. You know, you can. So, you know, I mean, while uh, you haven't, we'll we'll you know talk about this a little bit later. While you haven't necessarily defended. The, the Shine Championship hasn't been defended. Um, you haven't defended it around the world. It has been defended around the world. Uh, so it is a world championship, but you are able to call yourself a world champion by mm -hmm. defending it against wrestlers literally from all over the world. That's right. And now we'll talk about something. Oh, God. No, it's not oh, God. Okay. It's well, that thing looked is, like is, something is, bad was going to no, happen. No, no. Uh, okay. Speaking of <laughs> traveling all over the world. Oh, uh, yeah. No, this is good. This is good. Uh, you actually. Uh, make your debut, right? I'm going to Japan. I'm going to <laughs> Japan. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go to Japan October 22nd. I'll be there for a month for stardom. Oh, so you get to actually spend Halloween. Yeah. yeah, which I don't know. I guess I don't know. I'm just excited about Halloween. The whole thing. Is, Halloween time um, is a is a really cool time to be in Japan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's it's not. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not as Americanized as America. I mean, I can't believe. <laughs> Cut That's that funny. Out. Um, Cut so, it out. <laughs> uh, but you know, it is it it is a thing. You know, okay. so you know you'll be able well, to experience I'll, some of that. I'll Plus, bring my costume. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, but a month is a is quite a, a long time to be away from home. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah. I mean, not this. It's not just away from home. Like you're in a foreign country. I know. Great. You know, so like uh, you know, I, I spent some time over there. I spent a month over there, and by the end of the month, you get you start to get stir crazy. You're like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to come home. I'm ready, you know. Yeah, I'm sure I will be. But you know what? Um, a lot of the other girls are over there for three months, for six months. So I was very happy that they allowed me to come over for the one month. Um, you get a taste of it, and then you yeah. never know. Go back, you know. Spend that three months. Spend that yeah. six months over there. Now, are you gonna? Are you scheduled to be defending any of your titles over there? That I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. Stay tuned. Make sure you're a world champion. That's right. Now, um, you are a second generation wrestler, correct? Yes. I actually yes. wrestled for your father. Uh, up in Ocala? Up in Ocala, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, daddy. TNT, Kenny oh. G. Not yeah. to be confused with the uh, the saxophone player. Right. Right. <laughs> Not that Kenny G. <laughs> Not that Kenny G. But, uh, but you're there, Kenny G. So is that how, like, um, so how did you... Did you see him? Did you see the shows? Did you say, like, that's what I want to do? You know like, what? Like, did you gravitate towards it? Or, like, I don't want to say for it. Like, you know, hey, you know, come to these shows. Yeah, like, no. The, the, you know, where you brought, like, hey, go play in the ring. You know, like, that type of thing. Or were they like, you're like, you saw the wrestlers and you were like, that's what I want to do. No, actually, before my dad wrestled, before he was a promoter, uh, we were both just fans of wrestling. So yeah. I got to see my dad pursue his dream. Um, he didn't make it, you know, too far, but... He um, wrestled on the Indies, and um, also well, sometimes that is a dream, you know, yeah, just to be able to step yeah. foot in, in the ring, you know, is uh, that's a dream of some people. And to be in a promoter, you know, like uh, 
not everybody has cut down to be a promoter, and he yeah. was pretty successful and, with yeah, the stuff that he was doing. Definitely. Ran a promotion uh, up in Ocala, Central Florida. Horse high, country, or was it high voltage, right? High voltage wrestling. High voltage wrestling, wrestling HVW. And then um, went back to St. Louis, Missouri. That's where my stepmom is from. Um, and ran high voltage wrestling Midwest out there. And uh, does a lot of stuff for different um, benefits and stuff like that. Um, so how did you? So how did you go from being a fan okay. to? So I'm, this always intrigues me. Like yeah. the, the origin story of people. I was able to talk to Lufisto a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and uh, you know found out you know talked to her about that. So stuff like that. This always intrigues me. Like how did you, you know, say, I'm a fan, but like this is what I want to do. Yeah. So um, when I was younger, I was super super into wrestling. That was my my dad's thing. Um, I've got five little brothers and two sisters. Oh, wow. Me and my dad, wrestling was our thing. Right. So, every time it was on, you know, we came together. All of my other brothers and sisters, they really could care less about wrestling. Um, so, I've always been a fan of it. Did you beat them up? Um, my dad, no, not really. <laughs> See that in the yes. moves, you know, like a lot of the kicks, you know, uh, you're actually able to get extension. Like I can't. No. Like, I, like oh, I'll kick somebody. Should in the took those yeah. <laughs> so um, I think that definitely made it a little bit easier. Um, I did the whole, you know, went through high school, um, did the whole college thing, and then um, going to school out in St. Louis, Missouri. What were you going to school for? Um, I'm a sleep technologist. technologist. So I study sleep medicine. I can't sleep. And I went to Washington University. And um, yes, I work with patients who have uh, sleep disorders, breathing disorders, um, sleep apnea. You've heard of CPAP. Yes. Put a mask on them if they stop breathing. Yes. All that good stuff. And they um, sound like Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's only usually if they have a leak. But oh, okay. anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I love, I love that. I, you know, I, I wanted to have a plan B before I pursued wrestling. Um, so as I was going to school for that, I that would, started. That would have been training. smart. I went to college yeah. and then became well, see, a wrestler. That's fine. You went to college. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> um, she lost the pity like. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, so I, while I was going to school, um, working a full-time job, I started training to become a wrestler out in St. Louis, Missouri, at Dynamo Pro. Um, I did a few months there. It was right down the road from my house. I'm like, you want to? Oh. My dad started running shows again. I'm like, I think I want to. I want to do this. So I went to my first day of training and I was hooked. It yeah. was ridiculous. And um, yeah, I've been doing it ever since. Did a few months up in um, St. Louis uh, training and then I... So what year is that? So how long have you been doing this now? I started end of 2009. 2009, so this is so uh, six years. Yeah. So like, definitely not an overnight success. You've know, no. you had a lot of success recently, you know. You're like the ultimate dragon of yeah. women's wrestling, you know. Yeah, you got belts everywhere. Know, it's really cool. Like, do you even have like, do you have room to like, you know, put your clothes in your bedroom? Like, you have you belts, know, you're just like, oh God, I gotta move this belt. Case. Like, oh. Oh, how am I gonna make dinner? Like, I can't even put, there's, there's so many belts everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> So, um, what do you, you know, obviously you're, you're a world champion, you're a shine champion, what else is there for Santana? Well, I'm going to Japan and that's something I really want to do. Um, and then also, I mean, I'd love to get a call from... You know, to get a call from the, from the, from the E? Yeah, yeah. you know, this, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, to, you know, make a career out of Yeah, out of that's definitely what I want to do. And I feel like I've done well. Like, I, I barely work my sleep job. Um, oh, yeah. Very rarely. So, uh, I mean, I've done really well as of recent with, um, you know, being able to be Travel, financially yeah, you, uh, stable. Are you able to go through the, the, the frequent 
traveler line, you know. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, you don't have that? I'm not fancy, I you guess. Oh, well, because yeah. I haven't quite we made need get it. You, we need to get you on. But that. <laughs> you know, when I do other things too. I make my wrestling gear. And yes. For a few other people. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've got a lot of other things going on too. So I stay pretty busy. So here on the Milo Beasley Show, we do a thing called the Top Five. Okay. Top. Like, I'm, I'm not, I've never said anything uh, terrible to you ever. So I, I really don't even know what the top five I'm going to ask is. So top five. Is it always the top five same thing? No, it's always a different thing. Oh, it's it is? Yeah, okay. it's, it's always. So oh, it's top five inspirations, whether it be from comic books, from movies, or whatever. Top five inspirations for gear. Okay, I like this one. Uh, okay, well, I have to say, I didn't realize I do this, but Wonder Woman. Everybody always compares me to Wonder Woman. Um, let me tell you a funny story real quick. Um, and I'll get to the other four. Um, the headband thing. So, yes. beginning of my wrestling career, I every single picture, it was my hair was like this. And so I'm like, oh, I gotta do yeah, something. Yeah. I, uh, that's why I started wearing that's the headband. Why I, yeah. I got this up in a, in a every fall single now. picture. And so I'm like, okay, I'll start wearing a headband. Then it became the headband of power, and and now I'm just like, oh, Wonder Woman. Um, so okay, anyway, that was my headband story, <laughs> headband of power. That's where it came from. And you can um, buy those at the merch stand. That's right. true. I had the deal going. If you buy an eight by ten, you get a free headband that's of power. Great, that's a great deal. Ten dollar value. <laughs> <laughs> In itself. Okay, but anyway, it's <laughs> my sales pitch. Um, and okay, so Wonder Woman is definitely up there. Um, my gear from last night, mm -hmm. which is which has inspired this question, yes. which is Ninja Turtle inspired. Yes, I was, was Raphael. Cool. Raphael. 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 Yeah. yeah, he was my favorite. Um, I loved Ninja Turtles when I was young, and yeah. then they kind of made you know their comeback as of recent. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm doing it. I always look for inspiration from here. So. <laughs> I'm like, uh, you know, everyone's like into the Harley Quinn and Joker and stuff. Like, and I thought about doing Joker. But favorite sets of gear it's like a, a light shiny blue with gold accents and it's got star here and um it's princess jasmine inspired that's one of my favorite sets um and then i've got my little pony it's pink, <laughs> pink blue and purple really really pretty i wear it with my white boots so what is that that's four, that's four yeah. my fifth one Hogan yeah. yeah. Who doesn't? Who who doesn't? And Warrior. Okay, I have six. Oh, your I got my Warrior. Your Warrior set. stuff is really cool. Like there, I saw the photo shoot for the oh Warrior God. stuff. That it was really cool. If if you haven't seen the Warrior photo shoot that Santana did, it's fantastic. Look it up. It's on. Yes. It's on the Google. It's on the Google. <laughs> Just look it up on the Google. <laughs> um, shout out to Modern Myth, my photographer. He is absolutely amazing. His mm -hmm. work. Myth is a um, great guy. He does yeah, a lot. Of, that was my favorite shoot. So uh, before we wrap up, where can folks find you on the, on the social medias, the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all okay. that good stuff? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, Santana Garrett underscore, S-A-N-T-A-N-A. Five two two. What is five two two? That's my birthday. It's your birthday. That's my birthday. All right. So, uh, anything else uh, you want to push or you know say give shout out to or anything before we wrap up? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Not so much. Right, I think that'll do it for episode 68. Don't forget to find me on Instagram and Twitter at the Wrestling Bum. Uh, this has been episode 68 with Santana Garrett. We will catch you next week for episode 69 uh, with SoCal Val. Oh, that's appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. She's right. funny. She's hilarious.